Hello, people of YouTube. It is I, Resnov12321, bringing you some fabulous content of Minecraft on PlayStation 4. Now, you might have seen uh, Captain Bodacious and Gold Fox's Dragon Block C videos, but I am going to bring you some uh, slightly more survivalist content by doing a solo playthrough on a new survival world. Now, we will call this. Um, Tub. Right, and then we'll go uh, easy because I'm a little scrub and create new world. Right, so we've got a swamp biome that would be good for slimes. Uh, we have a wintry biome, which is great since it's cold in Britain. So, uh, I see some birch trees over there, so we might have a forest. So, I have read survival guides on what to do, so I am going to try to squeeze out about 50 episodes. Leave a like if you enjoy the series, I would like to see more. So right now what I'm doing is going to collect 16 blocks of wood. This will also be a series on how to survive in Minecraft if you're new to the game. If you're an experienced player, you might not need to watch this guide. You might want to see it for a few tricks and tips that you could do. So I'm just going to cut to the part where I have collected all the wood. See you guys in a second. And we're back. We have collected the wood that we uh, needed. Now, here's another tip that you want to do. You want to get about three to five seeds if you can. This will help you be able to uh, get some bread straight away. And um, you will be able to survive without needing animals. It doesn't look like... Ah, there we go. We've got the third seed. With the three seeds, you'll be able to uh, make a little farm. And then grow three wheat to get three bread. Now, I know there's some sugarcane around here, so I'm just going to take that for later on when we are going to need to make some books. So, uh, that'll be very helpful. And uh, we've got some coal down here. Now, with the wood that you've got, you want to turn about the majority in, majority of it into planks and then make one crafting table and 12 sticks. The 12 sticks will allow you to make one pickaxe for a start, one wooden pickaxe. I'm just going to place it down here. So a wooden pickaxe, and with that wooden pickaxe, you'll want to mine some stone. I've got some coal here. You'll want to mine about 32, so half a, half a stack of cobblestone. This will then allow you to make a full set of tools and a furnace, or two if you need to. So once again, I will cut to the part when I've collected the majority of what I need to. Now, I've got the... Uh, more or less just over half a stack of cobblestone but there's some coal here so what I'm going to do is since I've got about just less than half of the durability of my pickaxe left I'm going to mine this coal, gain some XP and then we won't need to have that three logs for the charcoal that we should have made if we needed to when it got closer to night time so I'm just going to uh, mine this coal Right, so we've got the coal, and we've got a sheep, which would be uh, very helpful later on. Uh, this pickaxe, I might as well just keep it for now, kill this chicken. So uh, we're going to go straight ahead and make a furnace. We'll place that down here, next to the crafting table. Then we'll put half of the eight coal in there. Eight coal because that is enough to smelt a full stack of any block. Now we've got the cobblestone, we've got some sticks, so we're going to make a full set of stone tools. I wouldn't usually make a hoe, but we are going to need a farm up as soon as possible, and the shovel is to collect dirt for the farm. So we could just cut, dig out an outline of the house we are going to make as a little starter shack just so we don't have to like dig out the floor so we'll just start off with basic box house I'll later be our 
tool shed or mine later on. So I'm gonna stick with a swamp biome. I've never tried it in a swamp. I usually go for forests or open plains because then they're easy to build on. So we got 63 dirt. We got a nice little pond here. So we'll just make a nice farm. So we're gonna ho ho ho. Merry Christmas all our way along. And then we're gonna place down the seeds we got earlier, right at the front. No, you stay away, no. Get in I swear. I I will end you. So we got a nice mine. If we could see any iron, that'd be great. Good start. Let's have a look. Let's use our shovel. Uh, no, there's no iron that I can see right now. So, as you can see, my hunger bar is depleting and I am in some need of food. Now, there's a cow over there I've just spotted. But right now, my main priority is getting some more wood for the house. So, we'll just speed through this. Now, we're not going to be total noobs and just spend our first night underground. No, that's not how I roll. We're going to build a shelter, even if it might be terrible. But a shelter is still a shelter. So we'll have a door there. I've built my house next to it. That's not very good. We are... Well, it depends since I'm going to have a mine here. So yeah, that's pretty good, I, I think, no. Just do it quickly, come on. Come on, Reznov. Do this. So, as I said earlier, if you want to see more of a series like this, or this series, or similar, uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to check it out and uh, get it done. so close to night time and we haven't got a house up and we are going to starve. Oh, an apple, that's good. That's some pigs over there. I'm going to go for the pigs first because I won't really breed pigs because I'm not desperate. Don't you dare. Don't you. There we go. We got some. We got two pork chops. That's sufficient. Thank you, Mr. Piggy. Where's that pork? Well, it's there. I, I, I died a little bit of sad. The, the pork chop teleported. It's okay though. So we're just going to take all this into the little... Sh well, it's not even complete yet, so we can't call it a shack. Hovel. Uh, we'll place the hoe and the apple, and we'll put them in the back corner. need to craft a door before it gets too late then just do this roof Right, so we got the roof done. Let's uh, cook some food, make some more sticks, um, torches. Always have them in uh, the last hot bar space. This is how I usually have it set up. Um, that there, have some blocks there. Uh, food would go there. And then I've got two spaces for any valuable I'll have to cook. Oh, that's loud. 
Oh, that was really loud. It's, it made me jump a little. It made me cry inside. So, we'll save this apple. We're gonna make it. We don't have enough wood for a chest. I'm going out. I'm gonna get some. So, the reason you will need a chest, obviously, to store stuff, but if you go out slaying, mob slaying at night, and you lose all your junk, and if it, some of it might fall down the ravine that you uh, stupidly built your house next to, then you've got a, a chest slowly moving backwards, and it's really irritating. You will have no chance of getting it back. 